Hello and welcome back to Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness with me, Matthew Caddies, Iggy Poogie. So today we will find whatever the key is in the center of the area. And it's very hard to see because of how things are here. Yes, the game points it out to you, but um, it is very, very bright in the center of the Fenac Gym. To the point where you can't even see where the elevator key is. I did pick it up, but yeah, it took me a while to find it. So, with that said, let's actually get out of here and indeed um, try and find a way to, um, well, save the townspeople now that we finally have the key after going through all that stuff. Seriously, firstly, saving the. I uh, have to fight all those Sal Cypher employees. And yeah, and apparently, even though we approach the lift, we cannot do anything with it. Yeah, uh, control desk. Okay, fair enough. Um, it belong. Um, it was being held by a certain Snattle, who was just a big crybaby. Seriously. Anyway, let's use the elevator key, and indeed, uh, that will bring up the lift. Yes, I use both terms. Hell, this. <laughs> I'm guessing the localization is a North American one, even for Europe. Um, so, with that said, let's go down in the lift and indeed meet back up with the rest of the um, people of Fenac City who have been held down here, including Justy and seemingly the mayor, who thankfully is not a member of Cyber. Thank um, yeah. So, yeah. He actually kind of looks like. Um, I don't know. What was that? Metro Man from um, Mega Mind, the DreamWorks movie that was completely outdone by Despicable Me in terms of box office success, at least. Which is a shame. I kind of have some. I kind of like both films, actually. Not so much Despicable Me 3, but there you go. Anyway, uh, that said, we are now able to. Uh, yeah. Don't know how the. Um, you weren't just close, you actually were were taken over almost the entire town, with the exception of the Pokemars. They just ba they just uh, get barricaded that one in a way, sort of. Didn't really barricade it with any sort of thing. They just stood outside and said it were closed. Any child might say so. Okay, so what does Justy say? Okay, yeah, thank you, I guess. Thank you? Uh, certainly. Um, although that might be an easy way for him to use the um, double team again. I know that was the case it back in Coliseum. Okay, something's in the desert. Okay, sounds plausible. Okay, I will. And finally, the regular. Oh, apparently we have a few more trainers here. Oh, okay. Uh, we can finally use the Pokemon Daycare Center. That was a huge thing for me in Coliseum. Um, and although with the Purified Chamber. Um, being available and free compared to the uh, daycare center, which costs quite a few Pokemon dollars. I think I'll stick with the uh, purified chamber for now, at least. Maybe if I um get a Pokemon that I can't purify, I might do that. And am I glad to hear the um, Fenac City music again? Seriously. Um, especially given that we had that overly dramatic music playing in the background earlier. Anyway, yeah. And also something shiny, shiny here. Um, Battle CDs. Um, is the mayor a fan here? I'm guessing he is. Um, I don't know. Something's weird. Okay, what was he going to give us then? The exp oh, the experience share, yes. 
That will be very helpful in, well, in the near future. We will be able to use it to, um, um, share our experience. And yes, it does not work like in X and Y, thankfully. Um, you share your experiences with your uh, battle experience with one other of your Pokemon. So yeah, um, but the experience share I do want to give to one of my Pokemon. I'm glad it does not work like in uh, X and Y. Uh, in X and Y, on the 3DS, what happens is that all of your Pokemon share the experience, which makes the game far too easy, in my opinion. Seriously. The only part which really does make it hard is the, um, um, well, the bit where we have to, um, get something else. Um, probably the Mega Evolutions, even even using Mega Evolutions, which I absolutely hate doing, um, against the Champion is very annoying. I should know, I tried using a Mega Lucario, which I evolved from a Riolu, and, oh boy, yeah. If you want to see the equivalent of DG Evolutions in Pokemon, then that is um, pretty much how it was handled in game, shall we say. Um, but that being said, I am going to look at the Purified Chamber. Or maybe not really, because I'm already done with the Purified Chamber. It's just me um, switching around my Pokemon, so don't want to do that really. Instead, let's go to the world map and um, let's go to this mysterious place, shall we? I think so. And where are we? Oh dear, it's stuck in the sand. Okay, was this a sand dune or something? Seriously, I did, um, did Michael or Adam, should I say, have to walk there? That certainly seems to be the case. If that's the case, then I don't know if I want him to do that. But um, there we go. Uh, so, oh, and a letter. Okay, so it's from Net in Pyrite Town. Okay, and it's something about the SS Libra. Well, we can't do anything about the SS Libra because, but yeah, the SS Libra was the cruise ship we saw uh, being carried off by that weird dark Lugia creature um, at the beginning of the game. And yes, it is a Lugia. I'm not even going to say uh, that, that is the mysterious XD001 that they keep um, talking about. They're cypher idiots. But um, yeah. It's quite obvious that the XD001 is the self-same Lugia. I don't usually like giving away uh, plot points, but in this case, it's a it's a freaking Pokemon game. One which, to be honest, is whose plot is rather paper thin, in my opinion. Seriously, um, at least. Um, Thing. So, yeah, it is the Shadow Lugia. And yes, we will have to fight it towards the end of the game. Uh, but that being said, now let's go to the top of the um, um, ONBS building and indeed try and find Net. Uh, maybe he will be able to speak to us about the SS Libra then. Because we can't go any far uh, further. Yeah, you'd think he'd use the uh, double team too much, but no, but they did cotton on to his battle strategy, I dare say. A missing Pokemon, okay. What type of Pokemon? Well, it is one that was somewhat teasing, um, um, Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. Yes. Lucario and the Mystery of Mew. Of course, Lucario was already brought in that one. In all his Goku-ness. Anyway, that being said, um... Pokemon that's never been discovered before. And no, it's not a Lucario. It's the other Pokemon who kind of had a small appearance in the film. Well, such as this one. Yeah, I am familiar with that. We're bonsai trees. Hmm, that seems to be a clue. Uh, 
sure, sure, I will. Uh, build almost situation. I'm not even gonna go there. You know how. So yeah, Bonsly, the pre-evolved form of pseudo Wudo. I know it's not Bonsly, but as I thought it was Bonsly initially until um, um, there is a uh, changeover of the Pokemon dub in 2006, where they actually quite rightly called it Bonsly. Certainly with Brock anyway, because he caught one in the Battle Frontier. Uh, well, my scooter got stuck, and now I can't go anywhere in the Cyber's new hideout. You sure? Okay, is there anyone who can fix a scooter to fly over the, over the desert in a similar way to as in Star Wars? That would be pretty good if that were the case. Purring Gassian port. Okay, um... Maybe that is a good a way to fix that problem. Macan. Last time I remember him hanging out at, um, well, uh, Kaminko's house. And the last two times we visited the Kaminko's house, we had to deal with his idiot assistant, Chobin. I wonder if we'll have to deal with him again, because I do not like dealing with Chobin at all. Seriously, he just never learns. If I were, um, Kamingo, were he not, well, justifiably insane, seriously, I, I do think Kamingo is insane as a character in this game. I would tell Chobin to invest in a better security system instead of trying to, um, probably out anyone who tries to approach who looks like a Pokemon trainer with spiky hair as an intruder. That's what I think anyway, but um, that's just me. Of course, Kamingo doesn't do that, and we'll see what happens when we get uh, that in the next episode, actually. But for now, no, we're going to get on port. Once again, with the burly sailors and everything else. Yeah, those uh, burly sailors indeed. So let's see, uh, what Pokemon do I have? Incy, Winsy, Aqua, Bouncy, Treble, and Prissy, and Cuddles. I don't know how how much, how long, uh, should I say, um, um, Cuddles does have before it evolves into Ursaring. But, um, yeah, I think we can go on. So let's go to, not real game tower, I don't want to go there, to Gation Port. Yeah, unless they reopen the Coliseum anytime soon, that's a no-go. So indeed, here we are in Gation Port, and I want to go to Macan's part, and um, hers, uh, part store. Okay, fair enough. We want to evolve it into a fire, you plain to your gov! Sorry. Old habits die hard. Especially with vile plume and its cockneyness. I gov! Anyway, that being said, um. The part shop is full of wonderful things. Well, at least we've come to the right place then. Are you there, Per? Oh, good. Yeah, we do. My, um. Scooter is a bit. Well, crap. So we can't do anything about that at the moment. Oh, God, he's gone to Kamingo's, hasn't he? Yep, we'll have to deal with that idiot Chobin then. And, yeah. Okay, this is due to us saving uh, Fenac City. Yada, yada, yada. But, yeah. But, that being said... On the next episode, we will go and see Kaminko. So I will see you then. Goodbye!